Scotland appears to have its fair share of mermaid sightings throughout history. Beginning in 1890, Newark Bay became the location of multiple mermaid sightings. Many people thought the talk of mermaids was just hearsay and rumour. However, many more people began showing their tales of what they termed the Dearness Mermaid. However, this mermaid was not the beauty of past legends. People described a seven foot long humanoid with pale white skin and black hair. The locals described her crawling onto rocks using her arms and sliding back into the waves. The few glances of her that people got were at a distance. The Dearness Mermaid was apparently quite wary and stayed far from the beach shore. However, the mermaid only stayed in the bay for a few summers and then suddenly disappeared back into the murky depths. In Ireland and some places in Scotland, mermaids are called marrows, and the stories of these elusive creatures date back to the 9th century AD. Many stories of these creatures gave warnings to the locals about the dangers of the marrows or merfolk. Many sailors of past centuries believed that a real mermaid sighting meant impending doom of some sort, either terrible storms, a shipwreck or both. Sometimes the merfolk were thought to even cause the storms that would wreck the ships. Often children in Great Britain, Ireland and Scotland were warned from going too close to locks, rivers and even wells. This was in fear of being taken by the Merrows. Mermaids had been seen by the British for hundreds of years. One particularly intriguing story written and published in the British press in 1810 tells of a pair of merchildren found on the Isle of Man. Apparently, a couple of fishermen thought they'd heard a dying bird or animal of some sort and went towards the noise. There they found one dead merchild and another one that had been injured in a recent storm. They took the injured merchild home and nursed it back to health. The merchildren were apparently under two feet in length, had the torso of a normal child and the tail of a fish. Also, their hair was like that of seaweed and it was even green in colour. The mer child would eat mussels provided by the man and sometimes drink from a quill of water or milk. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.